I got a soccer program that has an over 90%, maybe as high as 92% of my kids who play on this team graduate high school. Martin Luther King was opened in 1975. The original idea was to have this school that was modeled after uh, Dr. King's dream, this integrated school in the middle of Manhattan. The school shortly uh, went downhill uh, after that. Martin Luther King Jr. High School, the country now seeing the scene of another school shooting. I think that Jake has two warring instincts. One of them is the hard-ass coach. Where he's different is that he combines that uh, with a much rarer quality, which is an understanding and compassion for these kids. Look at a terrific example of the height of greatness that has been achieved by someone who walked in my office one day and said, I play soccer and he ends up top honors graduate from college. And, and practically one of the top, you know, were drafted players in the country. I think of him as the kind of person who will make you better. I mean, I think he, he could make me a better writer. I have this feeling that, you know, in the bazaars of West Africa, you know, and in the byways of you know, Trinidad and Jamaica, you know, almost like, you know, the drum beat. Go to Manhattan, find your way to Martin Luther King High School, and you will be all right. Martin, in his life, and he's honest about it, has kind of scraped the bottom of the barrel. Uh, he's been desperate, uh, and he came back. I did get addicted, you know, uh, um, to heroin. And that's the truth. You know? And I don't like it, but I, I did, and that's how I contracted hepatitis. It's the truth. What I learned from it is that you can, you can recover. And these kids are very needy kids. You don't know who I am. I'm crazy. <laughs> Hello, miss. They come from other places. They often come alone. They're poor. Uh, they're certainly not uh, the kids that uh, this city embraces. No one on this team would like to be in the school and not play. You know, that, I mean, that's why they came here, to play. So whatever it takes, even if, he, if he's your worst enemy, if you want to play, you're going to be his friend. Really the only thing that they've got is this skill, play soccer. Oh, yeah. Yes! Oh, yeah. I've never seen a high school coach who spend so much time and so much emotional effort around the kids. You have to get happy here. It's not, it's about here and here. It's not about anything else. Don't worry about money. Everything's going to be good in your life. I promised you that, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, then be here. Be happy. Smile for me. The whole combination is unique. But like any team, whether they're uh, 15 American-born kids, there's always personalities. And you have to blend those personalities to make a cohesive unit. Come on! I've got 38 kids on full scholarships or full free financial aid to college okay. out of MLP since 1994. I love this school. I want it to succeed. And if you base everything on what I do with my soccer team, this school could succeed. As a father and as a coach, I want to fix it. It feels so intense. It feels like, how can I fix this? Are we done pouting? Thank you. All right, now let's play a little uh, soccer out here.